Hey guys, it's Jane and welcome back to Case Place. So I have a small haul for you guys from Tuesday morning, Walmart, Michaels, and just a couple of things from Dollar Tree. So it's Friday night. It's the end of my work week. Whew, tired. <laughs> Going back to work after six years will definitely wear you out. So I think we're going to start with the two small things from Dollar Tree and move forward from there. So I just popped into Dollar Tree to uh, look for something that I didn't find. <clears throat> but I did find these things in the stationery section. So they had these in two separate colors. They are called Dual FX by INC by Ink. And they're two colors in one 3D effect. Perfect for doodling is what it says. Make 3D effects. Two double, do, two, hmm, till just tired. Two double tipped markers with assorted ink. The other one I think was like red and green or red and blue and green and something. But I figured these were more along the lines of what I might use if I was writing something on a card or outlining something. These are pink and baby blue and baby blue and purple. And um, so I just thought they were kind of cool. This is what they look like. So pick those up. And then I'm always needing an eraser for something. So these are, I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree before. They're retractable erasers. And I picked up a pink one. I think they had them in blue and gray and green. And so that's a retractable eraser with th two refills. So it has one in there and then two refills. I've had these before from like Staples and Office Depot and things like that. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. It was everything I picked up from Dollar Tree. So then I picked up a few things from Michael's. I found some of this Scotch low tack tape. I need some of this for, um, here's what it looks like. I need some of this for um, when I do like my die cutting and things like that. Um, I had a roll of the purple low tack tape and um, I've used quite a bit of it and I just was running out and I, I ordered that offline. And I was like, I really didn't want to order any more. So I thought I would try this and see how well it works. Because I can buy this locally and it's easier for me to get my hands on. So I figured I'd give this a try and see how well it works. Um, I also picked up a couple charms. Um... If you, if you saw my video before this, Susan Heffer did a gorgeous, gorgeous swap for me, and it was bee-themed, which I've been, I have, way before she did that, I had ordered some dyes that were bee-themed, and uh, I've been collecting some bee charms and stuff, and then I went to Michael's, and I saw the cutest little bee charms, so I went ahead and picked up this little guy, and then I found... Oh, where's the other one at? I found this little sunflower charm, which I thought would be cute with a little bee project. I thought that was cute. And then I found these little bee charms, and I picked up two strands of them. I thought they were so cute. Look at those little guys. If I can get them to sit still. Aren't they adorable? Little honeybees with little rhinestone wings. So I picked up two of those. I thought they were just adorable. And then I picked up two things of glitter. This is by Creedology. It's extra fun glitter. And I don't think it has a color. It just says extra fun glitter. Yep, no color, just extra fun glitter. Picked up this like iridescent -y kind of white. And then I picked up this really pale pink. So I picked up both of those. I do like how they lock on top of each other. I think that's nice. They stack well. Then Poet Spice 
any of you who do lots of crafting or swaps. I'm sure you've heard of Poet Spice on YouTube. Um, she has got a secondary channel where she does, it's called Poet Spice Biblio Coloring something, something, something. If I remember, I will link it in my description box. Um, she's got a coloring channel where she reviews like coloring books and she colors and she has a she put out a thing for a buddy coloring thing and I love to color but I hate coloring alone so um I was like wow that sounds like fun and I for some reason had misplaced I had bought a while back and I think it's actually down at my farm because I color a lot when I'm down there. I had bought a while back this Prismacolor Premier um, Colored Pencil Accessory Set. It's a seven piece set. It looks like this. And it comes with a white colored pencil, a colorless blending marker, a pencil lengthener, an ebony graphite pencil, a pencil sharpener, a kneaded eraser, and a plastic eraser. So I had bought this a while back from Michaels and I went ahead and picked up a second one. I'm pretty sure my other one's at the farm. So, and then I picked up some of these blending tortillion and I have some of these and I know these are at the farm in my pencil box at the farm. These are really good for blending without using a solvent, which is what the blending marker is. And so I went ahead and picked these up from Michaels. And then from Tuesday morning, I picked up some of the classic Spectrum Noir markers. I had mentioned before that I was trying to switch over my markers to the classic markers. And I hadn't seen these. And I thought that all the markers that there were were listed on the color chart. So here is the color chart for the classic markers. Let me open it up here. This isn't the one that I've checked off. This is just the color chart. So here's the color chart for the classic markers. And I have got one that I was working on. Kind of checking off. This is a combination of things that I've picked up from Hobby Lobby. And um, let's see if I can find it. It might be over here beside my thing. Here it is. So this is between Michael's or between Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning. These are the ones that I've managed to pick up. So I still have quite a few to pick up, but I've got quite a few of the, um, because I've picked up so many, I've got quite a few of these little color charts laying around. And So when I picked these up and I saw these, I was like, oh, so these are probably part of my collection. But they're called Hint of Collection. Probably should have given me a hint, but no, they're not. But they are new colors that are for an even lighter blend. So these are a lighter shade of shades that are already in the collection. So I picked up the Chic Neutrals, which have Alabaster, Frosted Peach, Parchment, Green Gray, Brown Gray, and Blue Gray in them. So those are the colors that are in this one. Then I picked up the Exquisite Pastels. These were all $7.99. This one has peach satin, yellow tint, gossamer, gossamer gaze, blue slate, water lily, and chiffon. So that's what those look like. Then I picked up again for $7.99, delicate florals. This one has lemon zest, celery, Iris, Pearl, Rose Petal, and Pale Fig. 
that's what those look like. Then I also picked up the Barely Brights for $7.99. And each one of these has six pieces. Rose Blush, Cantaloupe, Apple Blossom, Soft Lime, Light Mauve, and Powder Pink. And that is what those look like. These hint of colors are definitely the more shabby colors in the Spectrum line. So I'm really glad I picked these up. So there are 24 of the hint of that I picked up this week from Tuesday morning. And that was pretty much it. They didn't have a whole lot, or at least my Tuesday mornings didn't have a whole lot that they got in this week. But like I said, I did pick that up. And then from Walmart, apparently I was on a glitter theme this week. Um, I did pick up some more white glitter. And these look a little bit different. This one's called Crystal Diamond. And they look, so they look a little different, but kind of the same. And I did pick them up at different times. This one's a little more iridescent. The one from Michaels is a little more iridescent than the one from Walmart. So, <clears throat> and then I picked up this one, which is called Cherry Blossom. It's a little darker pink. And then I picked up this one, which I thought was really, really pretty. It's called Midnight Gem. And it's got some of those longer, like, pieces in there. It's really pretty. It's got a really pretty shift to it. If you can see that. If you can see it more easily. I don't want to move. But it's really pretty. So I picked those up. I also picked up this. It's kind of in a smaller tube. It is called Iridescent Glitter. And this is kind of a chunkier one. It kind of reminds me of like ice crystals. And it's just a little bit, it's just about as iridescent as the fine glitter from Walmart, but it's a little different color. It's almost clear, but it's a bigger crystal. So I picked this one up. Then I needed a medium, like I've got a larger googly eye and I've got a really tiny googly eye, but I needed kind of a normal sized one. So I picked, and they call this a mini. So I picked up an 80 pack of the mini googly eye and this is a seven millimeter. So I picked those up at Walmart. And I did mention that I was going to be doing the buddy coloring with Poet Spice. And I have several different types of colored pencils, and I really like the Crazy Art colored pencils. And I did pick up a their new 100 pack of colored pencils. I have several other types of colored pencils, so I'm sure I'll use all of those. But this one includes metallics, neons, and pastels. And so I went ahead and picked this up at Walmart. This is a 100 pack. It's got some very nice colors in it, actually impressed when I saw somebody actually had I guess they were wanting to see what all colors had in it because they actually opened it up and tore the whole top off of one of them and I was like wow that's got some really pretty colors in it so I decided to pick up one and when I get my coloring books that I ordered online I will show you guys what those are so those are some of the and you can only really see the tip but those are some of the colors that are in there where you can see some of those. It's got lots of really, really pretty colors in there. So, and I've never had any trouble with the sharpening or the way they color. They've always done, they've always performed really, really well. And then when I was at Walmart, you move a couple of these things off my desk, or off the surface of my desk anyway. Some place else that I can stick them for the meantime. I picked up a storage container at Walmart. So I'm going to kind of 
aim you guys down here at my level a little bit here. Oops, there we go. Let's see here. So this is what this little guy looks like. He was nine something, I think. So I've got this little. I'm just gonna lift y'all up here a little bit. Hopefully, I don't do it too fast to make y'all seasick. Right over here, I've got this little fabric caddy, and it is full of all kinds of tools, and it is a mess. I cannot find anything in there. So I thought maybe if I got something like this, it would be easier for me to find things. So it opens up. It's got a little like flat tray right here at the top. Then when you open this piece here, it opens up and it's got this little big tray right here. And these are, I did go ahead and take these apart. These dividers, when you put these things in here and they go in there for good. I'm not going to stick it in there because I literally had to pull it out with pliers when I was trying it out. And there are six of these dividers. And like I said, they go in there to stay. Then you have this long area here. Um, let's see how long this little area is. It is almost 12 inches. It is just shy of... About 11 and a quarter inches is what it looks like it is. Actually, it looks like it's 11 and a half inches. Yep, I'd say it's right at 11 and a half inches. You have 11 and a half inches of space right there. Then it opens up, and you've got two small containers here, a little rectangle container here, then another container here, and then you've got a relatively deep container down here on the bottom. And this bottom container is just a little bit longer, probably right at about tw maybe 12 and an eighth or a sixteenth inches long and right at, um, yeah, I think it, this goes down into it a little bit. It goes down into it. Let's see how deep is this tray. This tray is two inches, and this is four. So you've got a good two inches of space down in here because that goes down in there. Well, no, it doesn't. So you've got four inches of space down in here. So you've got four inches of space down in here to put whatever you want. So you've got a good four inches of storage down in the bottom of there. And it does have a good sturdy lock on it. And if you have small children around and you wanted to store like scissors or sharp objects or something in here that you craft with, you could always get one of those little luggage locks and put a little luggage lock through here with a key. And that would let you have, you know, keep those around and not have to worry about small children getting into those little sharp objects that we craft with, like scissors or little pokey tools or whatever. You could keep those locked away. So, I thought for $10 it wasn't a bad investment. And it'll let me stay a little bit more organized. So, that was everything that I picked up. That's literally everything I picked up this week. Nobody really had anything on sale that I was overly, overly over the moon about. Um, I didn't make it out to Hobby Lobby. Um, just haven't made it out there. Um, haven't made it out to Joanne's either. Um, but Michael's didn't really have much on sale. Um, I just went to pick up the, the thing for my coloring. Um... My coloring books and things come in tomorrow, and I will gladly come on and show you those. They're adorable. I also ordered some books on shading, 
that will not only help me in my coloring, but will also help me in coloring my dyes and things like that. They're really good books in shading. So I can't wait to share those with you guys. I also ordered a book that has um, charts in it that will help me with like doing my colored pencils and things like that, as well as my Spectrum Noir markers for getting down colors and laying them out in color families and things like that. So I'm looking forward to using that. So I can't wait to share all that with you all when it comes in. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world all to me if you would consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, give I wish you'd give a lot of thought to hitting that little bell over on the right hand side. And that would notify you each and every time I upload a new video so that you won't miss it. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I do hope each and every one of you has a wonderful and fabulous safe weekend. And I will see you guys again very soon. Again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.